What's up everybody, this is Clinton here. How to understand the cold by just observing your house. Now first of all, I'm, uh, you know, you have one of the two main places in the house. Two main places in the house uh, is the kitchen uh, and the bathroom. Uh, the kitchen and bathroom, you know, the kitchen prepare the food, bathroom to, you know, eliminate wasting. And, uh, you know, what would happen, say, you know, you're eating a lot of foods and um, uh, but the food you're eating doesn't get eliminated very well. All of a sudden, you'd have a backed up bathroom. Your bathroom would be backed up. And if your bathroom is backed up, it will start spilling into the other rooms. <laughs> it starts spilling into the other rooms. So the, the, be all sorts of crap flying into all the other rooms now uh, what I want people to understand is um, uh, especially I've watched a lot of John Rose and reading on an air is that um, uh, uh, when we consume foods you know they're either gonna be mucus they're either gonna be mucusless foods or they're gonna be mucus forming mucus and pus forming and uh, if they are mucus and pus forming, they're going to be hard to eliminate. Uh, you know, you take meat, you take meat for instance, meat takes three days for it to get out of our system. Three days! And think about all the residue that would leave behind. And um, so the answer, you know, to really understanding the cold and how we get it is to just see it as, you know, backed up bathroom the back to the bathroom and um, we need to eat certain foods mucusless foods such as fruits and uh, green leafy vegetables that not only help us to eliminate mucus and pus forming uh, matters in the body um, but they don't produce uh, mucus and pus so that the body has to later on um, eliminate so that is it, you know, stock up on the fruits, high fiber food, and uh, help your system cleanse out, and uh, you know, you'll have a new bathroom.